Hello, Diagos here. Welcome back to my Factorio series, The Manhattan Project. Okay, so we now have eight full lines, blue belt of iron and copper on our main bus. Um, so you can see we've got some balances like this for when we take off the bus, and we just need to add that for the rest of our stuff here. I think I did it already for anything that's using copper except for the stuff that's taking it off the top. So I need to do that, like right there. See, it's only taking off this top belt. And so these these bottom three belts aren't really even being used. And then of course the same thing with the iron right here. So we can start doing that. And for now I think what I'm gonna do is, um, let's, well, let's see. I think I'll have a lot of stuff going up. And we'll just take off the top belt for now. So like all of this can get replaced with just belt and we'll just kind of see if some if the top one or the bottom one for like iron or copper is getting a lot taken off of it um, and needs some supplement from the bottom one let's say okay so let's put that there and oh, sometimes the uh, the exoskeletons are just a little too much. Okay, open that up. Okay, so now it's just taking off of that one. So what we need to do is the same thing we do, where was it? Right here. So you see if it's taking off the bottom, it needs to push everything off toward the bottom like that, right? So we're, this way we're going up to the top, or our, what is our top. So we want everything kind of flowing down like that. And now this belt, and this belt, and this belt, they'll push some of their plates down, right? And it'll kind of balance out that way. <clears throat> okay, so here's a problem, right? We've got a little bit of a crowd, crowded situation here. Um, there's a couple things we could do in this situation. We could take off here and then underground and then loop around. That seems pretty straightforward. Uh, let's open these up though, for the meantime. And, oh my goodness, I can't get in the middle. Let's uh, connect that back up. Okay. Yeah, I think the easiest thing to do would be to underground right there. Oop. Like this. <clears throat> And then just loop around. We can replace this red belt. And the steel. Although this is yellow inserters, so we should replace those as well. You don't have to do that. I mean, there's no need, but I've decided that I like, I want all of the fastest stuff, right? So um, eventually as I go, everything will get replaced. All right, moving on. Here's another situation, except now we've got two things blocking it. Um, you could always go backwards, of course. Um, we've got some pipes here. So this is real tricky. It's probably the trickiest it gets. Um, I think the best thing to do in this situation Pull it up completely. Okay. And pick these up. And we'll we'll take off like right here, right? So <clears throat> it'll look a little, a little bit like that. Okay. Just kind of decrowd it. We've got space. And then I'll just take off right here. And then just hook that up. And we can pull all of that up. It's just going up just for this one. Uh, and now it's getting used there too in the report. Okay. All right. Um, what's next? Same thing. This one's not so bad because it's it's got... Uh, 
this deal here. Guys, we got the space. Alright. And we'll just pull that off. So I think I will be trying to get to the solar array, solar farm, starting that up this uh, this episode. If I can hurry up and finish these. What I might do is I might spend some time in between episodes and just upgrade everything from red belt to, to blue belt. Okay, so here... One... Yeah, that's fine. We can do this. Let's, uh... Just take these off. Alright. <clears throat> so as you can see, we're, we're pulling pretty much everything from the top iron belt. Our top iron line. Let's call it line. The four. What is going on? Take that off. Because I need you. Like that. Okay. Um, I think that's going to be... Will eventually be a problem, but not really. Because we can just... Once it starts getting thinned out, we'll just pull from the, the bottom line. That's how that works. Okay. Thinking about taking off my exoskeletons here because it's kind of tricky. Um, let's just do it right there. And then we can just loop around like this. <clears throat> no problem. Okay, uh, what's next? A couple more. It's all the same. Nothing really crazy going on here. Just kind of make sure I connect everything up. <clears throat> Excuse me. And clear these bottom ones. I'm clearing them now because I want to see, you know, I just, they don't need to be there. And I want to see um, that I've done it and not get confused with other stuff. Or else it just becomes background noise. Alright, so like that. Hey, we got a science. What did we get? Some nuclear stuff. Some Coverex enrichment process has been researched. Okay. Um, we don't have that, so we still don't have white science, of course. Cargo size, that'd be good, yeah, we need to do that. Come back for that blue belt stuff. How many more do I have? Okay, just a couple more, and I've got some drawing off the bottom down there as well. Okie doke. Gone. I'm probably, yeah, I've got lots of iron on me now. You can actually auto trash that, and that way you only have like, I, I like to do like 400 at a time, and then just er insert them into the line. So I might go do that here in a minute. You know what? I am going to do it. I'm going to take off my exoskeletons. Still, even that's a little too fast. I'll just take them all off because I, I want this fine-tuned control right now. We'll just put them on in a second when we're done. Okay. Yeah, that's a lot better. I'm looking for... Here we go. These right here. I want to take everything off of one line for now. One reason is just so I can see what's being consumed. Oh boy. No, no, no. Even like without the exoskeletons, it's hard to fight against the, the belts.
Let's pull these out, I think. I know I left some back there. I'm gonna go grab grab those as well. There we go. And so I need to do these two right here. Okay, and that should be it. That takes care of that. Iron, the main bus iron is completely 100% done, I believe. Uh, other than some red belt stuff like up here, iron is completed. And copper is almost completed. Like right here. All I have to do is just pick this up just to kind of balance it a little bit better. Okay, I just had a phone call there. Now I'm back. Let's finish up this balancer here. Okay. Um, so we are just looking at copper. Copper looks pretty good. There's some stuff coming off the bottom though. Might want to look at it real quick. I already did a lot of work on copper, of course. Just need to fix these because they're taking it off only the top belt. Another thing you can do, <clears throat> excuse me, yeah, so that looks good. Another thing you can do is put a full balancer like I have right over here. I think it's time for the... Um, where is it? Right there. So you, you can put a full balancer if one line is, even with these, because these aren't perfect balancers by any means. Um, so like if later on down here it looks like bottom or the top line is getting taken too much I could put a balancer right there and then keep going and that would help okay let's do one more <clears throat> for the construction bots okay so was there anywhere else that I wanted to grab oh up here yeah here we can pull that out to right there so it's all even Getting a little low on that stuff. I need to go make a requester chest, I think, for iron plates and copper plates. So much to do. Okay. Um, yeah, and you. All right. Um, green circuits we're gonna, are going to have four lines as well, but not eight. I don't think I need eight. <clears throat> we can do four, but we don't have enough for four yet, of course. Um, I think that's good for now. We've got the bottom and the top for the copper. We're not using a whole lot of copper yet, but we will. We we're going to use way more copper than iron here in a little bit. Um, so what I want to do is for the iron plates, I can do that like right here before the balancer, I think would be good. And it's just like the ore, same setup, get a requester chest. It's just a place for them to put it, right? So if I, if I trash it, they'll put it in storage chests instead, which could be anywhere and everywhere. And it could be mixed in with like wood and stuff like that. So probably help to have... Um, yeah, anyway, so we definitely want, hello, really? You can't reach that? Oh, it's because he already has a bazillion lines. You can unhook these, by the way, like this one right here is unnecessary, but I'm just going to do it like this. No, I can't. Okay. I can do it. 
this. Hold on. There we go. Oops. There go all the copper cables. Hmm. Yeah, it's not perfect. Let's see. I need to make some copper cables now, huh? There they are. Oh, it's... I forgot. I did too many. Okay, so we want to hook you up to there. And then you to there. You there. Okay. Then let's make sure we have our medium. That's good. And that's copper plates. Okay. And this guy, he needs one, two. So let's... Problem was he was he was hooked up to this guy too. He doesn't need to be hooked up to that. No. I'm not sure if you can just do one at a time or if you have to get rid of them. If you do if you do cancel them like I just did, it destroys them. They're gone forever. They don't it doesn't go back in your inventory. Okay, so there's iron plate. Let's do the same for copper, because I've got too many. And we're gonna auto trash iron plate, but I want four hundred, right? At all times. And then the other thing I can do is actually request 400. So I always have 400. Now, if you put, if you request more here then you, and you're trashing less, you're going to have a constant, you're just wasting power because they're, the bots will come, pull them out, add more, pull them out, add more, and, and just like an endless cycle, right? <clears throat> So I'm going to do the same thing right here, I think. And the reason I'm not going to get any copper plates or iron plates right now is because I don't have any requesters for them. Um, so what we want to do... Where's my thing? Oh yeah, I want to make a requester chest. And another provider chest. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to do these separately. And by that I mean I'm not going to Didn't I just make a requester chest? No, I accidentally clicked provider chest twice. Okay. Sorry, I'm all over the place here. <clears throat> Let's move that. That's fine. Okay, so this one is copper plate. 20,000 and now I can trash it I want 400 okay. um, so those will get pushed back in right so something else that I can do is have this for copper right? and it's kind of a little bit out of the way I think I'm going to put them down here so they're closer to the center of the base so that the bots don't have to fly as far. So we'll put one like right here and one right here. Okay. And that way they can start providing me with these plates. And um, we want to limit these to... That would be 400. But if I'm using them up fast, right, we want probably just one. <clears throat> I could also use a stack inserter. That might be a little bit better. Let me make a couple of those. And we got to power this up. There we go. And we'll use this stack inserter. And since I'm taking off this line, I could balance it. Um, just like I would elsewhere, but... It's not... Not really super necessary. Well, let us see. I, I might just do that. Now, the reason why I'm not putting them, so like I could limit, 
I could like put it over here and like limit this or something and it doesn't it doesn't act like a chest a provider chest though so that's that's the issue um, that's why I don't do that <clears throat> okay cool well let's I think I'm kind of up at the end of this episode but in the very next episode I'm gonna go gather up all my supplies where are they gather up there they are let's see what we've got to work with here so see they take take forever to to build looks like we need some more green circuit so let's go actually do that right now and here's the cool thing it's already set up the lights here huh I can just copy and paste my um, current green circuit layout and it should be built pretty pretty quick I think I need to put more requester chests down the problem is a lot of my inserters and logistics stuff is up at the top of the base I might want to move that down but we'll do the solar farm in the next episode solar array and start the farm and then we'll start moving stuff down to this one and then demolishing that top base there so here we go looks like I can that's a nice fat iron patch right there okay we'll just hook it up like this make that up I've got all the stuff on me though that's that's the other thing so my personal RoboPort bots are able to take care of it Okay, so we've just doubled up green circuits, and we can keep doing that, you know, and, and eventually move them off to the right as well. So I'm going to end the episode here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.